In the sacred letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul imparts a profound revelation that resonates with the very essence of our being. In 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19-20, through 20, he declares with solemn clarity, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. We journey deeper into the realms of Gnostic Christian spirituality. This truth becomes a guiding light, illuminating the path to spiritual wholeness and divine communion. Welcome to the Daily Gnosis, where we partake of our daily required value of Jesus. I'm Ald the Elder, hashtag Old Not Sage, and we at Dizzy Angel Multimedia are happy that you are here. And we're blessed to be able to post these devotions Sunday through Thursdays. At the heart of the Gnostic tradition lies the recognition of the sacredness of the human body, the temple of the Holy Spirit, consecrated by the indwelling presence of God Himself. Every cell, every fiber, every breath of our being is infused with the divine energy of the Holy Spirit, radiating with boundless love, wisdom, and grace. In the Gnostic understanding, our bodies are not mere vessels for the soul, but sacred vessels of the divine, entrusted to us as guardians of the holy flame within. We are called to honor their sacredness and treat them with the utmost respect and reverence, recognizing that they are not our own but gifts from God purchased at a great price. As we contemplate the implications of 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20, we are invited to embrace a profound shift in perspective, to see ourselves not as separate from God, but as vessels of God's presence, called to embody God's love and light in the world. This recognition of our identity as temples of the Holy Spirit is not a passive acknowledgement of theological doctrine, but a transformative realization that has the power to reshape our entire way of being in the world. It calls us to honor the sacredness of our bodies and to live lives that reflect the divine qualities of love, compassion, and purity. The teachings of Jesus Christ profoundly affirm the sacredness of the human body. He healed the sick comforted the afflicted, and restored wholeness to those in need, demonstrating the divine power that resides within us all. He spoke of God as our heavenly parent, inviting us to approach God with childlike trust and confidence, knowing that we are beloved children of God created in God's image and likeness. The Gnostic scriptures echo Jesus' teachings and offer profound insights into the nature of our divine identity. The Gospel of Thomas speaks of the kingdom of God as a hidden treasure within the soul, waiting to be discovered and experienced. The Gospel of Philip describes the sacred union between humans and the divine, where the two become one in mystical communion. As we meditate on these holy texts and reflect on the profound truth they convey, let us open our hearts to the presence of God within us, embracing the reality of our identity as temples of the Holy Spirit. Let us honor the sacredness of our bodies and live each day with a deep sense of reverence and awe, knowing that we are beloved children of God entrusted with the precious gift of life. May we in turn reflect this divine presence to all whom we encounter, becoming channels of God's healing and wholeness in a world hungering for God's presence. Brothers and sisters, as we go about our day, let us be of service to others and help God to ease their journey. Always remember that God, Jesus, Allah, Muhammad, uh, Buddha, the Aeons, the Archons, and the Angels all love you. And as your friend, I'm here to remind you that I love you. Eat when you're hungry, sleep when you're tired, talk to God daily, and love continuously. Until we meet again, may your hearts be filled with joy, your spirits uplifted, and your souls nourished by the eternal wisdom of the divine. Amen.